What's up guys and welcome back. It's Paco Aras Paco Chaga. If you're here for the first time, only because you saw the title of the video, well, I am a musician, I am a vlogger, I'm also a father of five kids, and of course, a loving husband to my wife, and a motivational speaker to my friends, and to you too, beginning today. So let's jump right in. Pretty much, a friend of mine had the same situation where his, I'll say his wife, wanted him to quit his passion. And his passion actually has everything to do with starting a new line of clothing business. So one, one, one day I was having drinks with, uh, with my friend and he said, well, she doesn't want me to go into business. And I go, you seem to have things going for you. Your Shopify um, store is, is looking good. What, what's happening? And he said, well, she just wants me to focus on my job. And I was like, is that what you want to do? No. Did you tell her that? I couldn't. And I was like, why couldn't you tell her that? And he was like, it's, it's going to hurt her feelings. And I prioritize how she feels. If we stop there, that's a good thing. Because your wife takes precedence over anything else. I mean, in my, in my house, that's how it is. When my wife starts complaining, even at the slightest complaint, oops, I stop what I'm doing, I make sure I listen, and then we talk, we discuss, and we come to terms. I give her what I could give her, and she gives me what she could give me back. But that's how we are, and I, I understand every couple is not the same. But my friend did not have the guts to actually tell his wife that he wanted to focus on his clothing business, his online clothing business. And I asked him, how much time are you spending on this business? A lot. Did you consult your wife when, when you started this online business? And he said, I, I think I kind of told her. Ah, told her. Women don't like that. Seriously, that's what I told him. We're guys. I mean, men, it's easy to say, yeah, you know, I told you. Yeah, but women, especially your spouse, your partner in everything that you're supposed to be doing, you can't simply tell them. You have to sit them down. You have to express it to them. And women, if you agree with me, now's the time to give me a thumbs up. Huh? You have, guys, you have to sit your woman down, express to them what you intend to do, what your plans are, and listen to what they have to say. So I simply go, so in other words, your wife was never part of the decision-making process. And he said, yes. And so now, you're designing all these um, shirts and you're talking to all these uh, distributors after office hours and you're expecting your wife to understand. And he's like, isn't she supposed to? And I was, no, she's not supposed to understand. But it's bringing extra income to the family. Did she ask you for more money? No, but I want to do this. It's all about you again, I said. And he's like, what would you have done? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I simply said, I would have ran it by my wife. I would have asked her what she thought of this idea and I would have gotten her opinion. And if I was kind of iffy ab about her opinion, I'd suggest over her opinion, give her two choices and make her pick one. In other words, you know, it's not, I'm not, I'm not going to gaslight my, my wife, but, but I'm going to lead her to where I actually want to go to the point that Janelle would actually just say, just tell me what you want. 
and I'll tell her. And and if she agrees, she agrees. If she doesn't agree, then I have to find a way for us to agree. But most of the time, all women want is to be involved. Share with them what your desires are. Men are known to to hide things. We're, we're, we're less expressive. Women are are very expressive, but, but men aren't. But men, we, we're guilty of assuming women are mind readers. Well, I guess they are. I mean, their guts are really... But it, it would be nice to actually say it. Why, why do you have to keep it? So I'd say communication is key. If you want to have a very harmonious um, a hobby or passion, why are you even hiding it? You don't need to hide anything from your spouse for your, or, or from your girlfriend. I remember back in, uh, back in the day when, when I wanted to start this vlog, I actually told Janelle, um, do you mind if I vlog? And she was like, how are you going to do it? I go, I'm going to start with my iPhone, which I actually still am using. Um, and then she was like, am I going to be part of it? And I was like, uh, do you want to be part of it? Only if I'm ready to show my, say, my, only if I'm ready to show myself in front of the camera. And I go, okay. And I ask, can the kids be part of it? And, and so she set parameters that she and I are comfortable with with regard to vlogging. There was a time I stopped vlogging because Janelle actually um, said something that made me think. And she said, you're editing videos twice, three times a week. You're rehearsing with intro voice. If you don't know what intro voice is, it's the band I'm currently in. I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. You're rehearsing with Intro Voice twice a week. Um, two weekends in a month, <clears throat> we're out of town because you have shows. Where does that leave me and the kids? And is vlogging something you want to do full time? Or is this a hobby thing? Because there's Intro Voice and you have work and you have this vlogging thing and then there's family. And so Janelle went on and on, right? And I just kept my mouth shut. I did not say, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. I just let her talk. And at the end of the day, her simple message was, do whatever you want to do as long as you have time for me and the, and the kids. That's all she wanted. And so now it's in my hands to actually fit everything in my limited schedule and so it's 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 my responsibility to actually prioritize what's more important so janelle and the kids are up there and then of course there there's my work which pays the bills and then there's the band which is part of my identity and then there is our community, this whole vlogging community. And so I threw that back to my friend. I said, where does your wife sit in terms of your priority list? And he said, right up there. So why didn't you tell her? And he said, I was scared she might say no. Which opened another, which opened another can of worms. Because I and then I, I was like, so what if she says no? Is that gonna scare you? No. So, what's the problem? If it's not gonna scare you, why why are you why are you scared if she says no? If she says no, it means you're not giving her enough information for her to make a an informative decision. And then he was like, but why? <clears throat> but why will she make the decision for me? I go, no, 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 no. She's not making the decision for you. She's making the decision for herself if she wants to be involved in what you are currently doing. 
Because if you shared with her, look, honey, I want to start an online shirt business. This is what I need to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I want. And she looks at you and, and she simply goes, you know what, honey, you go do that. And then just ask her, you want to be part of it? No, because I'm starting my online makeup business. Now both of you have two two businesses that you guys are passionate about and now you guys are are synergistically supporting each other, interdependent from each other. But it began with a simple communication process. He finally got it. But it's too late. Now the wife thinks this online shirt business is a threat. And unfortunately, <clears throat> it never took off. He eventually folded up his business. Um, he's still doing the 9 to 5. He, he's still there, not sharing everything with his wife. And that sucks. Because your wife is supposed to be your best friend. And she's supposed to know what's going on in your life. And if you can't tell her how special she is, and if you can't share those mundane things or the things that make you happy, what else can you share? So I guess that's it. If you're a woman listening to this video, I hope it validates your, your feelings. And if you're a man listening to this video, I believe and my wish for you is that you don't fall into this trap. There's definitely a way for you guys to get along and for you guys to make this your best relationship ever. There's no need to hide your passions from your spouse. And you know what? If your spouse is actually taken care of, if you really give your spouse what he or she wants, I don't see any reason why he or she can't give you back what you want. So again, make it a great day. I wish you all the best. Please, if you like what you just uh, watched, please give me a thumbs up. It actually helps keep the zombies away from my house. Also, if uh, you haven't subscribed, now is the best time to do so. Um, I don't know why, but I think we can reach 10,000 subscribers pretty soon. So please do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. <clears throat> the more it rings, means the more videos I've been posting. Again, this is Paco Aras Paco Chaga. Always make it a great day.